Messi of Matador scored by 1,100 pounds full during show in Spain. TL, DR, Andres Rocare, the famed bullfighting sensation, faced a terrifying ordeal in Spain during a recent show. He was scored by a massive 1,100 pound bull, sending shockwaves through the bullfighting world and beyond. The incident has sparked discussions about the ethics and safety of bullfighting as a traditional sport. In a heart-stopping turn of events, Andres Rocare, renowned as the Messi of Matadors, found himself in a perilous situation during a bullfighting spectacle in Spain. The 1,100-pound bull he was facing had other plans, leaving the Matador to battle for his life. As the adrenaline-pumping video footage circulated on social media, questions started pouring in about the nature of bullfighting and the potential risks involved. For some, bullfighting is an essential part of Spanish culture, an art form that has been passed down through generations. But for others, it raises concerns about animal cruelty and the safety of the matadors themselves. Is bullfighting an art worth preserving, or is it time to rethink this tradition? Bullfighting has long been a divisive topic, and incidents like these only intensify the debate. Advocates argue that bullfighting showcases the bravery and skill of the matadors, turning them into legends. However, opponents highlight the inherent cruelty and suffering inflicted upon the bulls. Should we prioritize tradition and cultural significance, or is it time to prioritize the welfare of animals? As the Messi of Matadors recovers from his injuries, people worldwide are reflecting on the moral and ethical aspects of this controversial practice. Can the beauty of bullfighting justify the potential harm it causes to both animals and humans? Or should we evolve towards more humane and compassionate forms of entertainment? Let's open the discussion, what are your thoughts on bullfighting? and how do we strike a balance between cultural heritage and modern values? Remember, this article is meant to provoke thoughtful discussions and reflections on the matter. While the incident with Andres Rocaray is real and concerning, it serves as an opportunity to delve deeper into the broader issues surrounding bullfighting and its place in society. Disclaimer, this article is not intended to provide any advice or recommendations regarding the topic of bullfighting or any other subject. The views expressed herein are solely those of turned-up news and should not be considered as professional advice.